R.J. Barrett having his pro day today at UCLA. Didn't talk to anybody in Chicago at the Combine. What, is it, what does this mean, Alan? I don't. I mean, he's meeting with with teams, right? He's not yeah. really Nothing's, working out or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, he did that. meet with so, the Knicks in Chicago. Yeah. You know that you've had to scout him throughout the year, and we know several teams did. A lot of teams follow this Duke team around. The Knicks being one of them for sure. So you've seen enough game in person and also on tape to know what kind of game he's got. You know his pedigree as well. Both parents athletes. Uh, Dad obviously played overseas. Played at St. John's. Mother was a track uh, athlete at St. John's. So that's a pretty good pedigree, pretty good combination. And also, how about this, Bill? Bernard King giving an endorsement as well. Tremendous talent with an all-around game. He could put the ball on the floor and has a high basketball IQ, runs the floor very well, and he's a good scorer. Today's basketball is positionless. You can have two guys on the floor like Barrett and Kevin, who's obviously related to Kevin Knox. So from Bernard King, that's some high praise for a guy that certainly knew how to score. Listen, if yeah. Bernard King says that about me, my chest just goes up like this. I'm like, that's Bernard <laughs> yeah. King. Don't, don't. He's always been very positive. Don't gas right, him. Right, right, right. right. It's cool. But at the same time, people forget that R.J. Barrett was the number one pick coming into yeah. the college basketball right. season. Like, they weren't talking about Zion. There was no, you know, tape or anything talking about Job ja Morant being that guy. It was R.J. Barrett just off the strength of what he did during his high school career, high school career especially what he did in terms of having Canada the Team Canada win that gold medal against Team USA. He was that dominant of a player. So you're talking about a guy that loves to be in that position of being the guy, being the man. And he just has that dog mentality that I love. Even though he didn't come up successful in a lot of situations when it came to a game on the line, you have the ball in your hands, produce. But being in that position and telling Coach K, hey, I want the ball, give it to me, let me try and win it. Any team that gets him is going to be happy because he's a good piece. You can trade him. You can do what you need to do with him. You can build a team around him. He is a versatile player. He can defend. High IQ. I mean, like you said, positionless basketball, this is a player that can, that can thrive with the Knicks if they end up keeping him and developing him. To your question, though, Bill, him not working out at this point I don't think means anything. I mean, no. I, I, the cards I are no his. Use. Yeah. You know, he, why, for what? Y'all know what y'all getting? Y'all want some of this or <laughs> no? For more great videos from the MSG 150, check out her right there. And remember, our show is on Monday through Thursday, 8 to 10.30 p.m. on MSG Network and MSG Go.